Hey, my voice is back. And so am I, with my action figure review of Hell in a Cell. It was a mediocre show, so I'm wearing this Drew McIntyre shirt, because just like him, I lost in predictions to first-time champion, Brittany, who shockingly got a perfect score. More to come on that later. For now, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more pro wrestling and action figure content. Now, we're headed into my custom Thunderdome, so for a recap and review, let's take it over to the action figures. On the pre-show, Natalya faced Mandy Rose and Natty won with a sharpshooter. Also, Sami Zayn went crazy during a promo. The show was bookended by cell matches with Bianca and Bailey going first. Having experience in the cell, Bailey immediately goes for weapons and even resorts to biting. There's lots of focus on Bianca's hair, but in the end, she manages to get Bailey up and hit her with a kiss of death onto a ladder to retain her SmackDown Women's Championship. Seth Rollins attacks Cesaro during his entrance, then they have a standard match. Since a big part of this feud is based around Cesaro swinging Seth, he makes sure to do that before transitioning into a couple of submission holds. But when he tries to step through for a sharpshooter, Seth rolls him up to get the sneaky victory. Shayna, with Nia and Reginald, is being interviewed ahead of her match, but winds up slapping Reginald when he gets a little bit too fresh. Once the match begins, no one wants to look Alexa in the eye. Reginald gets involved twice, but runs away each time to avoid her hypnosis. Alexa is famously double-jointed and utilizes that to sell Baszler's vicious offense, but when she throws a tantrum, it messes with Shayna's head for some reason. Then, Alexa stares at Nia, putting her in a trance and causing her to slap Reginald. In the end, she escapes a Kirafuda clutch, hits a sister Abigail and a Twisted Bliss to pick up the victory. Say what you want about this match, but at least they didn't do anything overtly magical here. Alexa simply used her charm, charisma, and some influencing techniques to freak out her opponent, making for a somewhat plausible win. That's the best we could have hoped for. Next, it's time for the everlasting feud as Kevin Owens takes on Sami Zayn. KO sells the beating he took on SmackDown, preventing him from ever really taking control. The match is super brutal and ends when Sammy hits a blue thunder bomb and a halluva kick to get the clean win and hopefully end this conspiracy. The Raw Women's Championship is on the line as Rhea Ripley defends against Charlotte Flair. Before the bell, Charlotte attacks the ref and throws the belt at Ripley. During the match, Rhea hits her finisher, the Riptide, but Charlotte gets her foot on the rope. Flair locks in the figure four, but Rhea also gets to the ropes. They brawl around the outside, where Ripley uses the top of the commentary desk, and strangely, that causes a DQ. Charlotte technically wins, but Rhea retains the title. Is she heel now? Because Charlotte definitely is. I'm so confused. As Rhea heads up the ramp, Charlotte yells, You're learning! To which Rhea responds, I did exactly what you would have done. Um, okay. Finally, in the main event, Bobby Lashley defends his WWE Championship against Drew McIntyre in the second Hell in a Cell match of the night. Remember, if Drew loses, he can never challenge Lashley for the title again. There's lots of chairs and kendo sticks as they mostly brawl around ringside. Then, McIntyre accidentally takes out the ref with a chair, so when he hits the Future Shock DDT, there's no one to make the count. Another ref opens the door and enters the cell, but this allows MVP to sneak in as well. He pulls the new ref out during another near fall, but finds himself locked inside with an angry Scotsman. Drew hits him with the Claymore, then turns back to Bobby. He hits him with another Future Shock DDT and goes for a Claymore, but MVP interferes again, allowing Bobby to roll up Drew and retain. Yup, a roll up victory ends Hell in a Cell. At least the feud is over, and McIntyre can move on to something else. That was a perfectly serviceable pay-per-view, and a fine way to spend a Sunday night. Alright, that'll do it for Hell in a Cell. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. I'll be back later this week with a huge unboxing, so definitely stay tuned for that. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to do all that normal YouTube stuff. 
smash the like button, share with any wrestling or action figure fans you may know, subscribe to the channel, and spread the word. You can also talk to me over on Twitter, at WrestlingOptimus, or see all my best figure photography over on Instagram at WrestlingOptimus. If you haven't seen my review of NXT TakeOver in your house, you can check that out right here. But until next time, I've been Wrestling Optimus, and I'll catch you later.